One, it's I, Wacky Anime What If here, here to present you with What If Deku Had the MILF System, Part 1. Let's go ahead and get into it. Currently, Izuki Midoriya has just woken up. Immediately as he gets up, he ends up thinking, Hmm, what should I do today? It's a Saturday, I can continue my training, I guess. I mean, I have been training to go into UA, after all. These are the last few days of middle school. Tomorrow is the aptitude test, which we already turned in, is about to get, well, you know, the results back to them. Immediately, Izuku thinks of his, mi his mind, I'm quite nervous, though. Mainly because, knowing my teacher, he's going to end up saying it out loud. Considering my teacher's done this repeatedly over and over, whenever I talk about wanting to become a hero or have a notebook show suggesting it, he spreads it to the class and it spreads like wildfire. Everyone makes fun of me, then bullies me, rinse and repeat so sick of it. I just want to become a hero, and I'm going to become a hero whether anyone likes it or not. Quirk or not, I'll become a damn hero. And I'll show everyone that didn't believe me that I'm not some worthless Deku, is what he says in his mind while he's brushing his teeth. Immediately, he gets ready to go to school before he realizes, oh shit, I just realized today's a Saturday. He ends up ends up saying, oh, fuck, while the wasted screen just appears in front of him. Just kidding. Anyway, Midoriya just walks all the way down the stairs, makes some breakfast for him and his mother. Immediately, Inko wakes up and just levitates off the ground with her quirk and starts floating all the way towards the breakfast and floating down the stairs very creepily as Izuku just looks towards her and says, Nani, I see that you're approaching me. While... Well, Inko just looks at looks at him at him with the face that says, "I must approach you to eat my breakfast." Immediately, Izuku just says in his mind, "Well, come as close as you like." Immediately, Inko just goes towards the table, zooms there, and starts inhaling her breakfast like Kirby. Immediately, Izuku just starts eating his. He immediately eats all of his. Goes towards the kitchen, starts making more, and there's like a whole eating competition with Inko eating and Midoriya cooking. She immediately ate over <laughs> half the stuff in the fridge today. And immediately Izuku said, well, damn. I know she eats a lot now, now because her quirk ended up, well, ended up growing through a growth spurt, which happened, well... I honestly did not expect it. She just ate the entire goddamn fridge. I have a feeling this whole fridge is going to be gone. Like, I'm, I'm probably going to walk into the kitchen tomorrow if I wasn't here in the morning and I didn't make a breakfast every day. I'd walk into the kitchen and I'd see her making the entire fridge, just eating the whole fridge. Just biting into the fridge being like, I was too lazy to make some food. Because Midori has gotten extreme, extremely good at cooking and... Inko decided not to make any more food anymore, and just let Izuku make her it. And honestly, it's kind of annoying, because he has to cook so often. <laughs> like, Midori, Midori has to cook for his mom so often. He's on, honestly thinking that Inko might be a super, a fucking Saiyan from Dragon Ball, with how much he's eating. No, scratch that. He ends up thinking that maybe she she's Luffy from One Piece. As soon as he starts thinking this, he starts shivering. Thinking, oh god, I need to get out of here before she asks for seconds. Izuki immediately gets up and is about to walk towards the door very sneakily. Until Inko, who just finished the last plate, just looks at him and says, Hey, Izuku, can you make seconds? While Izuku says, I'm sorry, but we don't have any food. And I prefer you not to eat the fridge or the stove. Immediately she says, Oh, when you go out, could you get something? While Izuku says, Alright, what's the shopping list? She immediately gets in the shopping list. And Izuku says, Alright, time to go, I guess. He immediately walks all the way outside. He opens the door and walks all the way towards... Walks all the way towards the supermarket. Right when he walks to the supermarket, he ends up seeing Mitsuki... Mitsuki Bakugo. Well, Mitsuki directly there. Mitsuki and Bakugo directly at the supermarket, walking in. 
immediately Izuku is, is hesitant to walk in afterwards because while Bakugo, honestly, he does not want to beat down today. He stopped calling Bakugo Kachan years ago, considering he keeps on beating him dramatically hard, and he has scars all over his body now, and apparently now he's so fragile that he can't train his body without it consistently hurting or aching, and the scars to end up getting phantom pains, to where honestly he just passes out before doing many push-ups, like 10 is, is his limit now. He hates Bakugo with such a passion now, but he, on the outside, he pretends to be his best friend, he pretends to still care for him and everything, only because if he ended up saying that he didn't like him anymore, it would just break Mitsuki's heart. He didn't want her going through the pain, plus he didn't want Bakugo to end up beating him even worse for just saying such a thing and getting him in trouble. Immediately, Izuku walks into the supermarket and starts getting through with his list. He gets halfway done and is exactly avoiding Bakugo and Bakugo's mom perfectly until he goes down the aisle for some milk. Right when he's there, he ends up seeing his dad. And he immediately says, Dad, did you finally get the milk? While Hisashi just looks at him and says, Uh, son, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta get some milk. While Izuku says, Dad, you have the milk in your hand. Well, Asashi says, I've got to get some more milk. As he's like an aisle away now. And Izuku starts crying, Dad, you have the milk in your hands. While Asashi just starts running all the way out. While a mall cop starts, cha a fat mall cop starts chasing him saying, Hey, you gotta pay for that. While he says, I've got to get some milk. <laughs> and... Izuku is just left there crying because his dad ran off to get more milk again, <laughs> even though he had a jug in his hand. <laughs> Izuku just wipes his tears and says, All right, I guess uh, my dad isn't coming back. Second thought, who needs him? He thinks in a depressing tone. After all, he wasn't there for most of my life, so what's the difference if he arrived back now? After all, he didn't like me because I'm quirkless, and that hasn't changed at all. I didn't get some magical power. I didn't get some sort of system that's going to make me super overpowered. Immediately as he says this, a blue system appears in front of him and says, Hello there, I couldn't help, help, I couldn't help but to hear that you wanted a system. While he says, Oh my god! Oh no! He screams out. Because he thinks he's lost his mind, and everyone looks at him and says, what the fuck? They say that in their head because Izuku's like flat on his ass right now. Just screaming and pointing to the system in front of him. And immediately, <laughs> when everyone just starts staring at him, some of them whisper freak. And immediately a kid and her her mom looks at Izuku and the kid says, Mommy, there's a crazy guy there. While, while immediately the mom says, Honey, don't look at the crazies. If you look at the crazies, they'll look back at you. While Izuku's just looking at the system and screaming, Wait, so you're like a, an overpowered system or something? Like, what are you? What do I get from you? What are the tasks and stuff that I have to do? While the system says, First off, stop shouting. You're attracting a lot of attention as more people are walking by staring at him. And one of them is staring at him and says, Hey, you're crazy too! As he has has actual crazy hillbilly hat on and some hillbilly clothes. Some redneck clothes that makes him look like a hobo. And he just looks at him and says, My name's Magaki! While a mall cop is chasing Magaki out, saying, Magaki, get back here. Stop taking all those things. And he says, I'm taking these cans for the apocalypse as he's running out of the store. And Izuku ends up looking at the system, ignoring what's happening around him. And thinks his head so I can talk to you telepathically. The system says, no shit, Sherlock. And it, a face appears and it rolls its eyes. And Izuku says, all right, so what do I get from you? And immediately the system says, I can't tell you what type of missions they are, but whenever you do a mission, you get gotcha points. For every 100 gotcha points that you get, you can end up drawing a skill. For every thou for every 100 ones that you get, you get to draw a skill from a banner. And you randomly get a skill or an item, or something along the lines of that. 
So, do you accept the system? As terms and conditions appear, Izuki immediately does the same thing that everyone else does whenever it comes to phone games or any other thing. I'm just going to press yes. He presses yes, and immediately the system was continuously talking, not knowing that Izuki already pressed yes. He said, oh yeah, you should probably read in, this, in the terms and conditions. It tells you the stuff I wasn't able to tell you. Like, for the fact that the missions have a brutal consequence if you... A brutal and sometimes embarrassing consequence if you don't actually do the quest. Like, it says it's optional most of the time, but it, it's not really. Like, there's this one guy who ended up dying because the system ended up giving him a quest and he didn't do it properly. And he ended up dying because it said, you have to diarrhea off of a skyscraper. And he did it. And the thing is, like, you, you think he'd be fine? Or you think he'd fall, but no, that isn't how he died. No, he died because as soon as he went all the way down, st down off the skyscraper, all the way to the bottom floor, he shit accidentally shit on the wrong person, and it was a uh, some guy known, some guy in a bat bat costume, and he like just beat the absolute shit out of him, and immediately <laughs> he ended up just fucking brutalized that man, <laughs> like n no. <laughs> The system starts laughing, and it says, Honestly, but you do get some good rewards, though. While Izuku just looks at the system with hollow eyes, and the system says, Oh, wait, you already pressed yes? Uh, wait, you let me finish my, my, you know, explanation, or you at least look through it, right? And immediately, Izuku says, No, I just pressed yes. The system just looks at him and just says, Why would you do that? Why would you do something like that? Well, why... What do you have against yourself? And Izuku just looks at him and just, I don't know. I thought that it was like when you play a video game, usually the terms and conditions don't matter. Well, the system's like, well, these did. Anyway, you got your first mission and also you get one free draw. And Izuku says, all right, pull up. So what do I do? He says, pull up banner is what you have to say. Immediately, Izuku says, pull up banner. He ends up saying it, and it pops up. He presses presses the roll once, and immediately a screen appears in front of him, and it shows a dice rolling. And immediately, when the dice rolls, it ends up rolling into a six. So, he ends up seeing, right when it hit a six, a random ability appears. It pops up, and it says, You've gained the ability. Danger sense. Immediately, I Izuku says, huh, that's pretty cool. Even though it's only a C rank ability. But Izuku says, hey system, it seems like I'm pretty lucky. While the system says, yeah, I mean, most people don't get a C rank in their first draw. But anyway, your mission's already arrived. Immediately, Izuku says, alright, so what mission is it? As it sh pops up and it shows... Current mission, slap Mitsuki, Kat, Mitsuki Bakugo's ass. Immediately, it says, in front of everyone. And immediately, he says, Izuku says, uh, uh, system, what the fuck is this? While the system says, it's your mission, sir. In a, a really, really fancy voice. And immediately, Izuku says, I didn't, I didn't ask for fucking this. As immediately the system says, yes, you did. After all, you're mine, and you clearly said yourself that you want a system that gives you powers to become a hero. Immediately, Izuku says, uh, okay, uh, so I'm not going to do this. And he's about to press decline before he sees the failure punishment. Failure punishment. You have to run it all the way down every aisle while Naruto running and yodeling at the same time and saying hee hee after you're done yodeling and so and immediately walk all with the front and pants the first person you see immediately Izuku says yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll just go ahead and accept it he presses accept and it says time limit to slap Mitsuki Baku goes ass cheeks to give Mitsuki Baku one ass cheek slap. Immediately it says time limit five minutes starts now. Izuku's just running down all the 
all the aisles trying to find Mitsuki Bakugo. Can't find her at all. And then it's all the way down to one minute. Izuku finally sees Mitsuki Bakugo at the end, at the shopping aisle. Right next to ba- to her is Bakugo. Izuku ends up saying, I'm not gonna make it. As, as the timer just reaches to 30 seconds. He starts running at top speed. And immediately Mitsuki Bakugo... And Bakugo both look behind them and see Izuku running at them. And Izuku just jumps over carts and just does front flips and back flips over carts and stuff just to get there. And as soon as he's right behind Mitsuki Bakugo, who just didn't even see him, like, just saw him for an instant behind her. And immediately, a thunderclap went off. As soon as his hand made contact, the entire cake was jiggling. Immediately, the guy behind Mitsuki ended up saying, That must be jelly. That ain't no jam. Immediately, Izuku ended up saying, Oh, thank God. Uh, I almost had a punishment from the system. Whew, I did not want to do that. He looks at Mitsuki Bakugo, who just moaned, and immediately he said, Oh, okay. He even removes his hand and says, I did not expect you to like that that much. And Bakugo just looks at Izuku and says, Yo, what did you do to my mom? Why would you do such a thing? While Izuku just says, Shut the fuck up! As he points towards Bakugo. And Mitsuki says, Izuku? Why did you slap my cheek? And Izuku says, Well, you see, uh, I might have gained a quirk and... Apparently, the quirk ends up giving me missions and stuff, and if I don't do the mission, I end up having to do a punishment, and I end up gaining a reward every time I do it. Immediately, she says, uh, so your quirk came in? And Izuku says, well, yeah, you can say that. While Bakugo says, so your quirk told you to smack my mom in the ass. And immediately... Izuku says, yeah, with just the derpiest face. And then Bakugo says, well, my quirk says to punch you in the face. While Bakugo is about to punch Izuku in the face, Izuku just has like a da- a sixth sense just tingling in the back of his head. And he just moves to the left. And Bakugo just misses. And then Bakugo just continuously tries to punch him. Moves to the right for a punch. Izuku just dodges to the left grabs his hand, just weaves under him, and straight up uppercuts him, and then just flips him behind him, and he falls all the way to the first aisle. He slides to the first aisle and knocks over a shelf. Immediately, Izuku just looks towards Minsky and says, So, uh, speaking of that, the mission I just did, why the fuck did you moan? (laughs) While Minsky says, that is to be said in a later date. And she says, Ninja vanish! And she just throws a smoke bomb on the ground and disappears. And Izuku just says, Holy shit, my neighbor's a ninja. <laughs> Immediately, he starts getting his groceries, just gets them hung up and everything, and just walks all the way home. Right when he opens the door to, to his house, he sees his mom, and she has, like, this Oni mask on her face. And she has this demonic ass aura behind her that just says you're fucked immediately Izuku says uh mom what's what's wrong as he walks backwards a little bit and realizing that she used her her telekinesis to lock the door and Izuku ends up saying in his mind I'm in danger as his mom has a frying pan and straight up she just looks at Izuku and says so how did the grocery run go? Izuku says, well, it, it, went pretty, it went pretty good. While she says, hmm, so you didn't happen to do anything exciting nowadays, now, did you? And Izuku says, Not, nothing specific. Uh, why do you ask? She pulls out her phone and shows a video of him just rushing through an aisle, doing front flips and twist and all that stuff just to get the Mitsuki and slaps her ass so hard that you could hear it through three separate aisles. And this guy who's recording ended up saying, damn, 
he slapped that ass so hard that I, I have to replay this shit three different times. And it shows the entire montage of him doing that three separate times. And then Izuku just looks at his mom and says, it, it's not what it seems like. And immediately, Inko just, just taps the frying pan against her hand and says, surprise, motherfucker. And she just rushes towards him. And immediately, Midori, Midori in his mind says, at this moment, I had just fucked up. As he starts trying to just run away, he, like, dodges the first hit with a frying pan, and he says, Ha! My danger sense is, is very, very good. He thinks in his mind. Before, ended up end up showing a mission appeared in front of him, and it shows a mission saying, Get hit by a frying pan from Inko Midoriya. And then, it, then Izuku says, I do not want that happening. I'm going to decline. Before he sees the failure, the failure one, it says, Accident, accidentally get kicked in the nuts. Immediately, Midoriya says, oh, shit. He accidentally pressed the no button. And Midoriya just, uh, ended up screaming in his mind, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen, is it? And immediately, he ends up saying, I ain't taking no chances. He runs towards the door. He immediately just opens the door. Very quickly, swings it open and just runs all the way out, and then doesn't see Mitsuki directly in front of the door, right there, stretching her leg, it going directly upwards, and Izuku seeing it positioned right towards where his dick is. Immediately, Midoriya could just hear nutcrackers going off in his mind, fireworks going off, and immediately he realized his nuts were cracked that day. As he falls to the ground because Mitsuki accidentally kicked him in the dick. And he says, Ah, my balls! My balls! <laughs> he screams out while Mitsuki ends up saying, Oh, Izuki, I'm so sorry, are you alright? While she ends up bending down, downwards towards him, just trying to see if he's alright. POV change, time skip, an hour later, Midori is on the couch. He has like an ice pack directly on his balls. <laughs> And he ends up just looking towards Mitsuki, who's just sit, sitting right beside him, and for some reason has a flushed face. Immediately, Izuku's thinking, uh, why is she so flushed? Oh, it's probably because of what happened before. And it also did get a, a lot of views, apparently. As he looks at his phone and sees the video has 5 million views, <laughs> and immediately it... A guy under the username Asmite ended up saying, Damn, I would have Detroit smashed that. And immediately, Izuku ended up saying in his mind, Hey, there's an All Might, All Might pun. He starts chuckling a little bit before seeing Mitsuki right beside him, just looking over him, just looking at his phone, also watching. She also chuckles a little bit for the joke, but she's also a little offended <laughs> about it. And Izuku just looks towards her and sees her chuckling. And Izuku realizes she's way too close. And right when he looks beside, beside, he immediately gets a face covered in titties. And right, right when his face is pressed against her, she doesn't notice, and she's like still looking through where Izuku's like just swiping through videos, and there's like funny cat videos and stuff. And she doesn't realize that she's suffocating Izuku right now. Izuku ends up saying. Is this how I die? In his mind, before the system screams in his head. Uh, hey, Izuku. Uh, do do you see the if you see the light? Please don't go towards it. And immediately, Izuku says, "Fuck you, system." In his mind, as he tries to pull himself off of Mitsuki, he finally does. But his left arm gets pressed up against her chest, and he accidentally squeezes one time, causing Mit Mitsuki to look directly at him. And right when she does, and Izuku realizes where his hand was, he says, oh, sorry about that, before Inka walks in from the kitchen with two plates of food and sees this. And then she just says, I'm going to be back with the frying pan. She walks in the kitchen, gets the frying pan. Two hours later, POV, Izuku's on the couch right next to Mitsuki, having two bumps on his head now. And immediately Inko says, so, what in the fuck's name did you do? For what did you do and why did you do it? And immediately Izuku says, Well, you see, I gained a quirk and the quirk gives me missions and I get rewarded if I do the quest, but I also get punished. And let me just tell you, the punishments are not good. And Inko says, Oh, uh, that's the unknown quirk that you ha were supposedly had previously. The doctor said that you had one. It's just, it could be a typo or just a flaw when he was scanning. 
immediately Izuku says, yeah, apparently it's not. And also, I'm about to roll for uh, some more skills. And immediately they both say, so, uh, how do you, how does it work? And the system pops up and says, if you'd like, Izuku, I could show the system. All you have to say is, is reveal. He says reveal, and then it shows the system in front of him. And right when it does, they both look at the system and, and they see a banner. And Izuku just says, all right, time to roll. He rolls three, three times. The first time, it shows a wheel this time. He starts spinning the wheel, and it spins three separate times. The first time, he ended up getting a skill called Thunderclap. Apparently, every time that he claps his hands, a, an entire lightning wave just hits the surrounding area, causing people to just get pushed back. And a little bit of sh a shock. Just a really little bit of shock that makes them numb. Numb slightly. But it's very weak, apparently. It says weak as a status. Immediately, Izuku spends one more time. And right when he does the second time, it shows up a, a certain ability that immediately made Inko and... Inko just questioned why that's there, and Mitsuki blush. Apparently, the ability just said bondage. And Izuku just says, what type of kinky shit is this? <laughs> As he sees the skill. And he says, system? What does this do? The system pumps up and says, oh, the system, it does. And immediately, Izuku says, just tell me, does it do what I think it does? And the system says, well, it, it has, it, you could use it that way, but apparently, whenever you have any type of rope or any type of chain, or any anything like that, you can end up say, screaming out bondage, and it wraps around the person. And you can essentially capture people with it. And immediately, Izuku says, oh, so that's quite useful. While well, Mitsuki's thinking about other things, and has steam coming out of her face. And Izuku just looks towards Mitsuki, and thinks in his mind, huh, I didn't make any eggs today. So he immediately goes to the kitchen, gets an egg, a egg and tries to you know make some eggs while he's spending his last one and Mitsuki and Inko were following him to watch immediately he realizes the stove didn't work and sees Mitsuki having steam coming out of her and he, and he said perfect he just straight up just got his frying pan put it above on top of her head cracked cracked the side of the frying pan and just put the actual egg in the frying pan and it started sizzling on top of her head and Izuki says all right time to go ahead and Spend the last one. Meanwhile, Mitsuki is currently just in Neverland, and she feels something on top of her head. And she looks up and sees a frying pan after, like, five minutes of just being lost in a trance. Right when she says it, sees a frying pan and sees it fizzling, he ends up saying, Did this motherfucker just use me as a goddamn stove? And in her head, she could have swore that she heard a voice say, Yeah, ho. But... In all honesty, it was the system right b beside her that ended up screaming, Yeah, ho, for both Mitsuki, Inko, and Izuku to hear. And right when Izuku pressed the the spin option one more time, he started laughing because of the joke. And then ended up getting an actual ability, which she was quite shocked about. The ability says fatal attraction and negative attraction. Repulsion and Attraction is what it showed. Apparently, it's an, a legendary tier ability. You put your hands in front of you, and for each each hand, you can attract or, or repulse things. Essentially, it's telekinesis, but you can use it at an infinite amount of range. The downside is you have to be facing your palm towards the direct area, meaning you cannot use any other part of your body. Izuku ends up saying, I, I think this is a good start, before he gets a little bit tired. So he says, I'm going to go to sleep now. As he eats his, eats his egg sandwich that he made after cooking an egg on top of Mitsuki's head. While Mitsuki just looks directly at him. And just is like, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Just goes home. And Izuku just goes to sleep. And that's what if Deku had the MILF system part one. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you want another part, you gotta hit a thousand thousand views. That is the only way that I will ever continue another part of another series. You have to hit a thousand views. Or unless it's voted in the poll. 
which I'm going to be doing some jobless reincarnation actual what ifs now. Some of them. Don't worry, I didn't forget about certain what ifs. It's just I haven't had the time to put them in a poll yet. And most people don't vote for them. That's the reason why certain what ifs are not continued currently. But uh, don't worry, I'm getting around to it. And all right, so I hope you all enjoy.